Sir, limited outlaws are coming up next. But he's got to come straight off the. He's got to come straight off from that one and go to his limited outlaw for hit for that main event. Limited Outlaws, a main event. Appreciate you guys so much. He says, is the Woodward backup engine set up? I'm not sure. I think that, I don't know what issue he had on that first for that heat race, but he like they didn't even drop the green flag before he pulled it to the infield. So uh, a lot of speed in that one right there. That, that go-course had a lot of speed in it all weekend. Just the issue in that heat race really threw him to the back of that C main, so he just had, has a lot of ground to make up. Yes, sir. And then after this, after the limited outlaw main, it's going to be your small block main. Then you a this, Don't hold me to this, but I think the small block main has already ran. Have they? Yes, because a lot of these drivers are running small block and limited that's, open. That's right. Okay. Limited outlaws. All right. So I think the small block open main has done ran, so that main could be done and over with. I don't know 100% yet, but I think that ran when we had to come back from intermission. Got you. Okay. So. Uh, the 13-1 with twins, KTs, it, uh, that's fast. Yeah. Hey, that's that's pretty darn yeah, fast. That's, that's sporty. And like I said, the fastest, since, since racing has started, the fastest we've seen so far is a 1280. Yep. And like I said, he's still got a whole B main to go through. And he could just have been just trying to make it through that C main. He knew he had a really good piece. He got out to the early lead, and he was, like, gone. So he could have been babying it. I mean, he ran some of those fastest laps at the beginning of the race when he was trying to get away from Rosa. So, I mean, he could have been just kind of riding, seeing what he had, knows what kind of adjustments he's got to make for that B main coming up. And then that B main is just another test session for that A. So. I'll yeah, that's all it is. I mean, I mean, it's tires, but, I mean, hey, you know, well, you, I mean, you, tires, you, know you know that you're going to be in um, – in that C, so I mean, you you prep. I mean, you, you already know what you're gonna do. Uh, you already know that hey, if you got if you transfer into the B's, you got to be ready for the B's. And of mm -hmm. course, if you transfer from the B's, you got to be ready for the A. So I mean, a lot of these guys. I mean, this isn't their first rodeo. I mean, no. they they know what to do. So I mean, no. it, they have everything set up, you know, laid out and everything mm -hmm. else. So just in case that does happen, like you I said, know, he knows, they're ready to go. Like for all we know, he has his A main set sitting on the rack right now. He knows which ones he's going to run. Yes, sir. He knows which ones he's going to run for that thousand one Yamaha class. He's got his limited outlaw class coming up here short, like coming up here next. So I mean, he's still got two, Look. three, four main events. Th I think three main events before he even hits the racetrack for the uh, unlimited all stars. That's it. Now look at the track. I mean, I, we'll see if we can get a panhandle of uh, of some of this track, and, and just look at the blue groove and stuff that has formed around this facility. I, talk, I talked about it a second ago. That track has a lot of bite in it. Man, shoes are squeaking when you walk around. You drag your foot. It about rips your shoe off. Like, it's got a lot of bite. It's ready to go here for this weekend. I mean, look how smooth it is from. It's, it's so glass. If you, look, if you look back, if we pan out just a little bit, from where that top right is is where that hole was yesterday or mm -hmm. last night. They fixed that. It's smooth as glass. They're yeah. fast, too. And I, I mean, I walked the whole entire racetrack. It's a lot different shape than it has been. There's more of a bowl shape going to it, so that could account to a lot of the speed. There's not really much straightaway. It's a lot of corner now. That's good. Like, it's a big sweeping sweeping racetrack. It's a big bowl shape now. Like a Talladega. And, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's and it's. and I mean, we heard some of them other, like Yamahas and stuff like that, they're not letting off much. Like, it's, it's a lot of full speed, full speed stuff. So, I mean. You ready to go for this limited outlaw division coming up next? Like I said, I think they're just giving Woodard some time to take a break. Sure <laughs> I, I would ready too. Ready to go? Okay. <laughs> Waiting on Bryce Overton right now on the grid for the limited outlaw. And the double zero car. Yeah, like I said. Listen to some of the track officials and stuff on the on the radio and. I mean, Blake Lester is starting third in this one. Simon C., Kayla Woodard. Uh, Blake Lester, he picked up that small block open main event here short, <laughs> up here earlier. <laughs> uh, I mean, a lot, a lot of, a lot of speed. My money don't jiggle, yeah. jiggle. It folds. <laughs> I did down. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I, 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 <laughs> Bishop, he's over here. Of course, he has to be off he's got, camera. He's got dollar signs Dude, in his eyes. That's, right all, now. that's all he's, he's got. That's about. all he's looking at right now. <laughs> My money don't jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> 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 oh, 
<laughs> oh, dear Lord. Limited Outlaws, ladies and gentlemen, your A main event right here, <laughs> live on Dirt 360 TV. Chris, I mean, you've done a lot of announcing and stuff, and you've been all out of, like, uh, across the country. And to be honest, what I mean, what do you think of, of being on Dirt 360 TV? Oh, it's it's an amazing time. A lot of these places, a lot of these other, like, bigger, quote, unquote, Bigger places. I mean, they take and they they take their job serious. But man, y'all take your job serious, and y'all have so much fun doing it, it. And that take it makes a day go by so much faster. Yes, sir. It's so much fun to work with y'all. I've had a <laughs> tremendous time at the Road to the Grand Nationals this weekend. And I mean, everybody at home can see the quality of content y'all are putting out. There's no like, there's no comparing it. A lot of the places they come down to these these off the grid a little bit uh, race tracks and stuff like that. And I mean, y'all are coming in here, and it's flawless. Like. From what I've seen so far, it's, it's been flawless. We're green flag racing for the Unlimited All-Star Limited Outlaw main event. At 44, at C -Main, the C-Main Bandit. Uh, it's already out big the spin. Oh, oh, hard hit over Seth there. Green. See, that's what we're talking about. Seth right over there. And he is he is feeling that one. Yeah, he the is. The whole four tires come off the ground for that machine. Let's get into uh, – See if we can get a replay pulled up. Oh, that, one, that was a hard hit That was a right hard there. hit for Seth. Oh, Layman going to go around Coming number out four of, uh, now. I'm going to get that thing pointed back in the right direction. Oh, try to see if we can wrong replay. keep this one under green flag condition, and <laughs> we will. That's the junior you one just replay. Yeah, it is. Get a little camera time. That's okay. Yeah. Not wrong a problem. Your leader coming down through three and four now onto the front stretch. Oh, now Caution one, flag is going. Go over here and look at Seth I mean, Green's. Uh, coming here and it's flawless. Run coming like, out of turn number four. What I've seen so far, it's, it's been flawless. Green We're green flag on racing. On. See Simon sees way up the speedway. Seth Green, you can see him coming through three, one and two. Gets a little bit out of line, gets a bump, and you can see that thing just hits with all kind of – you can see all four tires, slings him out of the go-kart. But, hey, he's back in it, ready to go. Went from leaned over. Yeah. Hey, hey, that adrenaline is still flowing. He's going to feel it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, he will. Right now, well, he's just thinking about this race. With all with all of the luck and stuff that he did, or he the bad luck that he's had through mm -hmm. the weekend, uh, this is something that you know. I mean, he he's right. he needs to be here. He needs to he, be he's in that car. This is where he feels safe. If you get out, if he gets out of it, he's, he's going to kick himself I mean, in the butt. A, that is a year's worth of work down the drain just by one accident, lap number one. And I mean, he's sitting fourth right now. He starts fourth. He's got a. a a stacked field in front of him. Caleb Woodard, Simon C., Blake Lester all have picked up wins are here today. It was a heat races, main events, whatever. But, I mean, you can see Simon C. ain't wasting no, no time. He to the back bumper of Caleb Woodard down the back straight away. Blake Lester going to be that first one and after that big gap between second and third. Now, Woodard way up the speedway. Simon C. to the inside. He's going to take over that top spot. as we got one around, that's going to be the 118 of Tim Crump. Crunk goes around on the top turn, number four. Caution flag is out. And it just looped around right there. So not nothing too dramatic about that one. It just he just got got to the gas too early and it just looped it. Hold on. the break Caleb Woodard needed because, I mean, he had a big slide off of turn number four, relinquished that lead to Simon C, and now we're going to see Tim Crump has an issue. I think they're going to pull that one behind the, the fence over there off of turn number four. A little bit of push up to the grid. That is the Pull Boys Tire Solution uh, entry of Tim Crump. Yep. And unfortunate, you know, for him to be out, you know, this early and stuff. Yeah. Uh, especially at the main event, but you know, great, great person, great part of uh, Dirt 360's family of sponsors. We're gonna go back green flag racing. Blake Lester, a tough restart again for him as he works his way off into turn number one. Keep your what? eye though on Seth Green. Seth Green drove in just a little bit hot, slid up the track out of turn number one and two. Still in the third, fourth place. Now he's coming under pressure. Yeah, Layman trying to make a move on him to the inside, but that's gonna shut the door. Through one and two now up off of turn number two down the back thread way. That's going to be that 117 of Robert Lehman trying to make a move on that seven machine to Seth Green as they work their way up off of turn number four. 
Taylor Woodard, once they drop the rag on this one, he's out front and commanding lead over that three machine assignment. See as they work their way down the back straight away. Him, Blake Lester, Seth Green, Robert Lehman throws the bumper to that seven machine to Seth Green through three and four, trying to get underneath him. Does, it does so, but cannot make that pass. A lot of power on that seven machine, and it all comes into play when they get pointed in that straight line. Seth Green trying to run down that 34 machine of Blake Lester up off of turn number four. But Lester now up underneath him, takes over that fourth spot, puts Matt Green back into fifth. That was your battle for the fourth, fifth. Now Seth Green takes the battle back. back. The inside Drove of Robert in Lehman. Way too hard. Lehman on the high side now. Lehman got excited after he made that pass and sent it off into one and two and just cost himself a bunch of time. Kayla, Kayla Woolworth, the 44, going into turn three and four now. That's your leader. And coming down the front stretch. I told you. A lot of speed in that 44 camp this weekend. A lot of speed. Man, they have been like everything but the UAS. Once they have dropped the rag, it has been nothing but green, <laughs> been nothing but checkers ever since then. And up off of turn number four as he holds on to about a straightaway advantage over that three machine. A Simon C as they work their way into turn number one. That is going to be seven laps in the books for your race leader, Caleb Woodard, into turn three and four up off of turn number four. Willard now on the front stretch, coming at your camera, going into turn one and two, has a hefty, about a half a track length lead now over everybody. Simon C, second, but all, I mean, all out front is Woolward. He is making yeah. a clinic out of this one. Simon run with him, he could run with him, he stayed with him about three laps, and after that, it's been that 44, that Woodard show. That almost looks like a sedan motor or a TT75 that he's running on that. It worked well. I think that's the same thing. I think that's the same exact car he's running in that KT Yamaha class. No, he was running a dual. Uh, is it? Well, I think he's running it into the Yamaha class. Like the thousand wing class. I may be wrong, though. Tell me to. I've seen two go-karts down there. And one of them is the dual and then what? that one. Okay, so that he might be running that in the Yamaha yeah. class, yeah? So... I mean, this could be a, I mean, both the, the top two are entered in that Yamaha class going up here later. If, uh, <laughs> imagine how that's going to work. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and like I said, 44's got a ton of speed in it. Already coming up to some lap traffic out of turn three and four now. Two laps to go for Caleb Woodard out front. Your, one, I, your 117 of Robert Lehman is going to be the next one that goes, goes a lap down if Woodward can catch him out of turn three and four. You get a look at some of these drivers coming down the front straightaway. That, this hard biting racetrack here in Georgia is really working on the next. We talked about it in June and talked about the same thing here. Look at Simon C when he comes down. You can just, that head is just, he's just holding on. <laughs> That's all he can do, just trying to keep his neck up as Caleb Woodard. Gonna be your winner here in your limited outlaw division. Alpha, that's, he's finished. Simon C still ha is just now finishing this race. Ain't that crazy? He almost lapped, I think he lapped a third. Lapped all the way to, no, fourth place. Yeah. So he lapped up to fourth in this one. That's crazy. So The 44 right there on your screen, ladies and gentlemen, that is Caleb Woodward, that 44 machine man. So he won the dual KTs. He won this one. And it, it looks like it is a sedan that's on that thing. But just, just crazy, absolutely crazy. Yes. Let's get a shot of, uh, no, yeah, no, go, yeah, do, go do that other one. <laughs> Sorry. So he is going to have to run three back-to-back -back mains. Man. Woodard is getting off the racetrack right now from his limited all. He just came off the racetrack from the C main for the unlimited all-stars. He is on the racetrack right now for limited outlaws, and now he's got to go straight to the grid after this race and go over to that B main. It's and then it. I think he's got to run Yamaha. <laughs> So, is they going to down to the the podium down there? Okay, the winner going to be your winner. Now he still looks fresh faced. <laughs> like he looks, he looks like he's ready to go for another twenty. Him, Simon C, Blake Lester, your top three in your limited outlaw division. Trying to get pictures, everything. Standing in victory lane here at the Grand Nationals, the UAE Unlimited All Star Grand Nationals here at Georgia Carding Complex. Been a lot of people want to stand in victory lane here at Georgia Karting Complex. It's been one tough track to tame for a lot of people. Some of the best drivers in the business couldn't even come to it. And Caleb Woodard done it in dominating fashion.
So like I said, Maybe we can get some of these guys up here a little bit later and uh, interview them. Woodward so, now putting that uh, cart up onto the stand. You still got to weigh that cart. That's right. Uh, they ain't even done yet. Uh -uh. But, <laughs> but Woodward, he's still, like I said, he's focused right now on that B main for the Unlimited All-Stars, I'm sure. Trying to get that, trying to focus his mind onto that one now. He's picked up one main event here this weekend. He's picked up two main events technically. He won the C main, and I'm talking about won it in about the same fashion as he did right there. So, That's, that's crazy. Yeah.